So for that, first of all, we will fetch the data. I will use an API to fetch the data from that API. So you may have data in your own um, from database or you have here the data, a list of the data in array. So let's first of all fetch the data. So for to pick the data, I will use JSON placeholder, this fake API, and I will fetch data from that API. So let's write use effect hook, use effect hook use. It will render whenever we start our program at the first and this array dependency mean that it will just run once okay whenever we render um, start our program if we write here a variable whenever we change the variable so then it will update it will call again by updating with that variable so that now it will just render at the start so to get the data i will use access library dot git and we will assign this url we will get the data of users so let's come here see this api provides a lot of post comments album photo to do's but we will um, fetch the data of users let's copy this url and paste it here after that we will get a result and we will store that result in a variable in a state so let's create that const data set data is equal to use state it is in array type with us so we will um, whenever we fetch our data so that will be stored here so we will just call set data and we will assign result to our data we will assign all the data objects uh, array to this data after that if there was any error console that uh, error okay display that on console for us so after fetching the data so now let's display that for that i will write a div element inside the div i will write my code i will use a table first let's add some design to the outer view finding five bg Let's create our table. Inside the table, we will <coughs> display. Let's create a, a T head first of all, and table row. And the table row we have table head. First, we will display the ID of the user, and then the name, then email, and also the phone. So now let's display that render that dynamically and so for that to dynamical display we'll use map function data dot map we'll get data and then index data row function here we will use parenthesis because we don't need if we use parenthesis we don't need return statement to write so here we will write our table row If this would be I and now let's display our data in table data tag d dot id first of all then name after that a email and then we should display phone so let's check it the api okay see that we have id in this data name email and also we have the phone let's uh, assign a class name here table <coughs> here on the top we will create um, a search bar and in input field and we will filter our data based on that <coughs> so before sorting let's check it first how it looks like our data let's run the server npm run Yet we start so let's move to this URL so let's import our home this home component in app.js 
so for that uh, let's inside up I will just import it and I will use it here let's check it now so let's refresh it yeah our data we pitched our data it looks like this so now let's create an, a search field and we will filter our data come here to the home and create this search field control whenever we are writing data inside it we should store that in our able and we should um, filter our data based on that okay so for that uh, let's call unchange event filter okay we will call filter function and let's create filter function we get an event and we will filter our data now so to filter the data let's create one another state variable this would be records and set records and we will assign our uh, data to this uh, records okay and we will filter our record later okay so let's now write <coughs> set records we will call this one and inside this uh, we will uh, filter our data data dot filter call another function and filter f dot mm, name dot to lowercase dot includes event dot target dot value okay we will filter based on name and here we will use the records instead of data we will use records so let's check it now yeah um, uh, right now we don't have the data so let's come here and we will light it like this yeah here I will set the records result dot data and let's remove this data to the Nari object with us yeah see it right now so where is our input field input uh, on change filter placeholder is equal to yeah it is our input field so now let's search it based on that see let's remove it Lena okay Otis okay Lena and also Nico yeah it is filtering based on name for us so it was all about filtering the data in react.js if this video was helpful for you don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel thanks for watching